the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. The first prize, if you are tired of where you are, and God wants to now lift you to a higher plane in the spirit, a higher plane in destiny. He does a miracle not to where you are, but he does a miracle to your spirit. He does a miracle to your understanding. The first price, the price of accurate, superior spiritual perception. Let's have the following scriptures down, please. Genesis chapter 13. From verse 14, we are reading down to 17. Media help us. Genesis chapter 13. This was Abraham and Lot. The Bible says that when God called Abraham from, just to give a little background, Lot went with him. And on account of that partnership, God began to prosper Lot. But a time came when the herdsmen of Lot and that of Abraham began to have a quarrel. And they said, we be brethren. There is no reason for this quarrel. Choose a choice land. And Lot made that choice and went to settle near Sodom. And when Abraham was left alone, verse 14 now, and the Lord said to Abraham, after Lot was separated from him, lift up now your eyes. What is the first thing responsible for your advancement? Your eyes, not your feet. The goal is to move forward, but it starts with your eyes, your perception. He said, and look from the place where thou art, northward and southward and eastward and westward 15 read with me please if you are a christian one to read for all the land which thou seest i will give unto thee and to thy seed forever keep that scripture there not the land that is available it is the one you see that i will give to you not the one that is available all the land which thou seest i will give unto you and to your seed forever next verse please verse 16 and i will make thy seed as the dust of the earth so that if a man can number the dust of the earth then die then shall thy seed also be numbered 17. it says now arise now that your eyes are seen your legs can now follow your legs will always move in the direction of your eyes if your eyes sees danger and a mediocre life sees a ministry that cannot grow your legs and your hands will move in the direction of that limitation for god to enlarge abraham the first assignment was his eyes i know you um who is the man of god here any my no no don't worry this man you just lay your hands on that lid just do what i'm asking you to do on her shoulder just uh -uh, not her head just lay her hands there just do what i'm asking you to do in the name of jesus i speak peace to you now help that lady yeah? someone maybe get something and just clean her up or just now listen carefully everyone so the first price watch this is the price of what accurate perception accurate perception let me tell you this it is difficult for god to do much with a man of god 
with an individual with a territory that limits him through their perception the assignment of faith is not just to make you hear what god is saying but to see what god is saying because you can doubt what you hear but you can never doubt what you see you can't say i'm wearing white you can't say i'm wearing red you can't say i'm wearing a suit because you are seeing if all you are hearing is an audio you may guess what would this man be wearing are we together perception for a long time god wanted to lift and honor abraham but abraham could not carry the kind of perception that will establish him as the father of all nations so one time the lord helped him by bringing him out he said try to count the stars he counted he could not he counted he could not he counted he could not he said so shall your seed be finally abraham agreed with god and the bible says god credited unto him for righteousness accurate perception for all the land which thou seest i will give unto you now pay attention in numbers chapter 13 we're dealing with the first price we'll just take that one alone for tonight numbers chapter 13 let's start from verse 1 this was the a chronicle of what happened to the 12 spies remember that spies had been sent to go and spy the land and i like us to examine the power of perception and its implication they were about to possess a land and their perception limited them ready it's a long reading please be patient media will just keep working together please and the lord spake unto moses saying verse 2 send thou men that they may search the land of canaan which i give unto the children of israel now watch this god is saying i have given it all but there is something you must do to step into possession of it so he says every man choose people to come verse 3 we'll see if we can jump a few verses moses commanded by the lord now and all those who are the heads of the children of israel for and these were their names please go to verse 7 let's just jump their names for the sake of time and of the tribe of Issachar, Egal, the son of Joseph aha let's continue I want to show you what happened when they were sent to spy the land of the tribe of Ephraim Oshia or Jehoshua this would be what we call Joshua right and of the tribe of Benjamin Palti the son of Raphu sorry about the whole chronicle the tribe of Zebulun Gadiel the son of Sodi uh-huh it's a long reading of the tribe of joseph manasseh 12. let's go to 13. we'll keep moving until we are done with the numbering 14. you see how long we are trying to jump this now it says these are the names okay just keep 17. it says these are the names of the men which moses sent to spy the land and moses called oshia the son of Nun. He called him Jehoshua. That's where you get the word Joshua. Jehoshua, God our salvation, the one who saves. And Moses sent them to spy the land and said unto them, Get you up this way southward and go into the mountain. 18. And see the land, what it is, and the people that dwell therein, whether they be strong or weak, few or many and what the land is that dwell in whether it be good or bad and the cities that be that they dwell in whether they be tents or strongholds and what is the land is whether it be fat or lean whether there be wood or not it says be of good courage and bring the fruit of the land now the time was the time of the first tribe grapes watch this so they all went 12 of them they searched the land from the wilderness of Zin to Rehob as men come to Hamath. Next verse. And they ascended by the south and they came to Hebron and all these other places. They came down 23. 
they came to the brook of Escol and cut down from there a branch with one cluster of grapes and they bear it between upon two staff and they brought the pomegranates and of the figs next verse the place was called the brook Escol because of the cluster of grapes which the children of Israel cut down thence. We're reading to go ahead. And they return. Now follow this now. So Moses sent them go to the land, spy the land, a comprehensive search and bring us miracles. Bring us testimonies. Alright. And the Bible says they returned from searching the land after 40 days. And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron the priest and all the congregation of the children of Israel unto the wilderness of Paran to Kadesh and brought back word unto them and unto the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. 27. And they told them, here's their report now. We came unto the land whither thou sentest us and surely it flowed with milk and honey and this is the fruit thereof. 28. Nevertheless, Ladies and gentlemen, look at the danger. Just lead them to their seats gradually. Right? You can just lead them quietly to their seats. The ushers can do that. Nevertheless, please look up. It says, The people be strong that dwell in the land of the cities and the, city, the cities of our world and very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak, the giants now, there. The Amalekites dwell in the land of the south, the Hittites, the Jebusites, Amorites, in the mountains and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan Caleb kept quiet and was listening to the rest as they were reporting and the nation of Israel was becoming threatened and discouraged by the perception they were selling to them and Caleb shut them down at once said you are not the only one who went there we all went there don't generalize your interpretation you are not the only Nigerian we are all Nigerians you are not the only one who the economy is the economy can be bad for everybody but don't generalize experiences this is what Caleb is saying Caleb still the people before Moses and said let us go up at once look at perceptions two of them went to the same place they saw the same challenge their interpretations were different Caleb said even if you want now we are ready to go and possess it he said for we are well able to overcome it but the man that went up with him said we be not able to go up against these people why for they are stronger than we 32 and they brought up what kind of report a poor perception an unscriptural perception is called an evil report They brought up an evil report of the land which they had searched unto the children of Israel saying the land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof I don't know where they saw this one in that journey and all the people that we saw were men of great stature now I like you to read this ready I forbid this from happening to your life but I pray that you read it now one to read and there we saw the giants the sons of Anak which come out of the giants and we were in our own sight stop 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 we were in whose sight not their own sight we do not know what they are thinking about us but based on what we think they are thinking we were in our own sight as grasshoppers so we were in their sight they never had the opportunity to talk with the giants and say what do you think about us the same way you look at failure you look at limitations you look at ministry for someone else is seen ministry as an opportunity to serve the purposes of the kingdom from where you are to the ends of the earth for another person he's seen a burden that leads men to die to bring failure and defeat for someone else he's seen a great life even in the midst of adversity that when men say there is a casting down for you you shall say there is a lifting up 
but for someone you can sit down and allow life beat you left right center and say how can they allow sharia the first key if you want to rise to be mighty and to enlarge spiritually financially territorially ministerially listen carefully is the price of accurate correct perception when we see wrong we believe wrong and we act wrong listen to me there are many of you here who the call of God is upon your life but based on your background you have been told you can't serve the Lord leave all the people who came from rich families who have traveled to the u.s and come back you who has come from a village somewhere is not for you whereas you go back to bed and you see god telling you i want to do more with you you may look like you're a weak person but there are destinies upon your shoulder and whilst you are preparing do you know let me tell you this respectfully speaking this is a plague in africa there can be an indigenous individual who has an idea that can transform a territory and everyone will push them and say no we don't think this is nice someone will come from somewhere who was thrown from his own territory because of incompetence but just because he carries a personal that is foreign we will rush and and attend to them at the detriment of the creativity within the territory there are brilliant minds in africa there are mighty men and women of God in Nigeria. There are mighty industrialists in Nigeria. There are women of value and power in Nigeria. There are mothers with excellence and power. But our perception is what has stopped us from increasing. There are some of you God has spoken to you years ago. That this ministry is going to expand by land and at the time god spoke to you you look at the size of the ministry only 60 people and you said land for what and had you obeyed god and bought land at that time right now you will not be biting your finger in shame there are some of you here god spoke to you i want to send you abroad try this scholarship exam and you laughed at yourself ah it's not for people like us i am grateful with the little god has given me can i tell you this there is a thin line between contentment and mediocrity it is good to be contented but mediocrity is a dangerous programming and i say it respectfully speaking not to insult but you see we need the grace of God to help us to believe in ourselves and sustain the grace to expand our perceptions. It is true. I speak to you as though I'm speaking to family. You must believe God to be able to take you from where you are. Man of God, God can pick you right from this city. There is a grace God can place upon your life that will bring people all over the world to come it doesn't it, you don't have to just go there there is a grace for where the carcasses are the bible says there the eagles will. but if you don't believe you can sit down there and continue to compare yourself with yourself and the bible says that is not wisdom i came to challenge you tonight if it is enlargement that you desire please hear me there is more that god can do in your life do you know many years ago bishop sir I was in one room one room it was from that one room I was having visions of the globe it was from that one room I was having visions of nations coming I would get up and from that one room I would write what I saw and I believed God that one day I will stand before presidents one day I will stand before kings when God said it I believed it how it will happen I did not know but one thing I know is worthy worthy is the lamb worthy worthy is the lamb worthy worthy is the lamb that one day i'll be taking the gospel to the nations 
that I will speak the gospel before kings and before nobles. How it will happen, I did not know, but I believed him. Brothers and sisters, I bring you words of faith and words of encouragement. Some of you are standing here. You remind me of the Reinhard Bonke crusade many years ago. I was one of the people in the crowds in that crusade. I came there with hunger. I was already a man of God, but there was a dimension I did not see in my life and my ministry. And I came with hunger to come and receive. And that great veteran of the gospel of blessed memory, while he stood there, I was part of the crowd. For six hours, I stood with hunger. Listen to me. Ladies and gentlemen, let me speak to you. You can just help her you can if you can take her back to her seat and she does not disturb no problem just don't malhandle her just take her gradually these are just manifestations of the spirit now pay attention please listen listen i remember in that crusade it was on that crusade ground that was the first manifestation of the holy spirit that i saw he finished preaching just like this other people came for entertainment other people came to do man of god on the crusade ground I came with hunger because I was tired of that current level I had seen a dimension of the workings of the spirit in his life and I desired with all my heart and when he finished preaching he was going to take water so that he would minister the baptism of the Holy Ghost and something supernatural happened my eyes were opened and I saw a bird without exaggeration that bird would be as big as this auditorium I just saw it moving I thought everyone was seeing it but I was the only one who was seeing hovering round I said what is this by the time I was done from that vision I had turned to back the stage I didn't even know when I had turned and the Holy Spirit took me to Genesis chapter 1 verse 2 and the Spirit hovered round the face of the waters and he told me the union between the spoken word and the movement of the Spirit is what bends the miraculous I saw it by revelation Am I wasting your time tonight? We're going to pray. Perception. Right from that place, I believed him. Ah. And gradually, gradually, the Lord began to show mercy. And today, all I can say is glory be to the name of the Lord. The doer of every good thing. The Lord sent me here to tell you, and it is true, that where you have encompassed this mountain, and this level long enough there are men of God here the Lord has brought me here to push you stop giving excuses it's time to do ministry that brings glory to the name of the Lord stop giving excuses for lack of miracles I'm not called into the miraculous It's a lie there's no such thing as that it's because you have not enlarged your heart to contact the genuine grace that provides it Oh, it's because I'm not domiciled. I'm not a resident of Adamawa State. That's why ministry is not growing. It's not true. It's not true. Kill all your excuses. And say, Lord, I'm tired of giving excuses. I open up my spirit. Why is my prayer life up today and down tomorrow? Why is my word life up today and down tomorrow? Why is there no influence multiplied in my life? Oh, Adama, people are greedy. They will not give me money. It's not true. Another person will come into the city and they are following him with seeds. Kill every excuse. You see, when you take responsibility, God is ready to show you mercy. I knew that there had to be more to ministry. I made up my mind that I did not want to do ministry that was around jealousy and competition because that's what happens when you don't have results when you don't have results you don't have to be a bad person you will continue to go through the circle of jealousy petty gossip and all of these things that's always what happens when you don't have results when you are poor and you see people bless you will insult them when you fail and you see people succeed you will find a way of saying that they cut corners when God does not seem to bring that kind of honor that you deserve and you see people excelling, let me tell you this, the cure for all of these things is to trust God to obtain grace, to expand. Joseph only forgave his brothers because he had become king. If they met him in the cave, he would not forgive them. 
there is so do you know one of the reasons why many of us are still holding bitterness is because we don't yet have results there is a way god will so lift you it becomes unnecessary to discuss some things again i believe that there are worship ministers in adamawa state that must rise to become global voices I believe that there are men and women of God here in this auditorium that must write not for self glorification but for the purpose of the lifting of the name of Jesus I believe that there are businessmen here a few of your businessmen and politicians have shown you the possibilities that happen when people can dare to believe themselves everybody has the destiny of increase and influence if you have not tapped into it you are shortchanging the potential of that which christ has done in your life but the first price is perception there are some of you as a result of this conference you need to go back this night and carry the notebook where you and the holy ghost were writing many things years ago remember that old notebook go and take it back again and check what god wrote that you have stopped believing now you wrote in that notebook that there are people you will be sharing the stage with god revealed to you that a day will come you will be lifting people from wheelchairs but now when you started ministry and it looked hard you just shelved it away and said no i don't think that is possible i bring you a word of life there are many women today are called into the ministry of prophetic warfare and intercession right from the days of your youth you keep having visions and having prophetic insights you sleep you have dreams they come to pass exactly the way you saw what do you think was moving you there is a grace but you have refused to give it expression perception let me encourage the youth in this place and within this territory i love you with all my heart and let me tell you let nobody talk you down to make you believe that you cannot from this state bring up something that blesses the nations can i tell you this my life is proof that god can pick you from anywhere and exalt you and place you there and any spirit that has been lying to you that you cannot move past this level i cost that spirit from your life now enlarge your tent there is no enlargement except there is space one last scripture and we'll wrap up for today apologize for the time second kings chapter 6 you are my hiding place second kings chapter uh let's look at four We'll look at six tomorrow second kings chapter four this was the story of the wife of the sons of the prophet the first seven verses please just take them gently if they can move to their seat second kings four verse one second kings four verse one second kings four verse one now dear cried please look up dear cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet unto Elisha. Follow this carefully. It says, Thy servant, my husband, is dead, and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor, the creditor is come. Sorry about that. I'll just quote it. That the creditor is come to take two of the sons as collateral. Listen carefully. Do you know while this woman was crying in her house? the oil to set her free was in that house but the only problem with the oil that was that it was put in a small container the problem was not the oil the problem was the container carrying it every time the woman kept saying i don't have anything oh god bless me heaven was saying madam you have all it takes to pay your debt and live a comfortable life but she said where is it and based on her perception she saw a little cruise of oil and felt no this does not carry anything the bible says verse 2 
please give us verse 2 let's hurry up verse 2 Elisha said unto her what should I do to you he says tell me what do you have in Adamawa state what do you have in Yola pastors what do you have in your church and here's what the woman said and this is the response of many many people thine handmaid had not anything save a pot of oil and the prophet said that's it God will never leave you without a witness the factor that leads to your lifting and your glory has always been there but you have put it in a small capacity great oil but carried in a small mindset so you cannot go past this limitation here was the advice of the of the prophet he said go and borrow the vessels you don't have to borrow oil but you need to borrow vessels of all thy neighbors even empty vessels borrow not a few for we're reading to verse 7 when thou art come in shut the door upon thee and thy sons and pour out into all the vessels and thou shalt set aside that which is food you know what he was telling her he said look man of god it is true that the visions you have seen they are great but those visions are being kept in a small perception they are kept in a small mindset your perception is small he's saying go and exchange it expand your capacity buy books buy the truth interact with minds that god has helped and shown mercy now watch what happened she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons and brought the vessels and she poured out verse 6 the miracle began to happen and it came to pass as she began to pour the oil into bigger vessels what happened the oil started increasing there is a relationship between space and increase space and increase if a woman wants her child to keep growing she has to bring him out of that space because that space is exhausted when he comes out of a bigger space what happens he begins to grow are we together now the Bible says she said bring me yet a vessel and he said unto her there is not a vessel more and the oil respected the fact that her capacity had come to its limit if there was still greater vessels the oil will continue to flow again and the instruction came from verse 7 when you have now expanded your capacity it says go and sell the oil did you ever read in the gospel when Jesus was talking about the parable of the ten virgins the ones whose oil finished he said go to them that sell these are the people that sell that's how they got the oil to sell are you seeing now the people who he recommended he said there are people who sell this oil for your lamp I tell you where they got the oil they got it as they were expanding their capacity they had more to pay their debt and they now had it to sell when you have the oil to sell the nations will come to you they will not come and meet nothing listen to me the nations will not come to you just because you are called of God the nations will come to you because you have enlarged spiritually can God put you in the middle of a stadium to minister to people and be sure that you will not be disappointed have you enlarged to that degree have you enlarged to carry grace to that degree can God keep you before kings today and be sure that you will be able to represent the purposes of the kingdom with accuracy and with intention ladies and gentlemen God does not have a problem bringing enlargement but there is a price and the first price tonight is perception go back home and carry your Bible and begin to read about your future Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command you this day it says that thou shalt be exalted above all the nations of the earth and this blessing shall come upon you and overtake you right from that one room I believe I believe it shall come to pass 
that God will set you above nations and kingdoms I believe many years ago when God called his servant the bishop during the days and the times of the patriarch now gone Archbishop Benson Idahosa he believed we are gathered today in honor of a man who believed God can I tell you this the signs don't go before you these signs only follow them that believe hear me hear me let me explain to you don't assume you understood what I said if what is following you is wrong don't drive what is following you drive what is attracting what is following you hear me these signs if failure and limitation and retrogression and shame and reproach is following you they are not following you they are following your perception those signs are coming in honor to and of your perception you don't drive them by saying go away shame go away uh -uh. you drive them by introducing light Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 amplified says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you rise to a new light we're going to pray it's time to still be in that one room but let your mind dream with the Spirit of God and go to the nations it's time to be in Adamawa state here and yet allow that prophetic ministry to rise beyond this city it's time to allow yourself many of you here are brilliant people by any standard but you have allowed status quo to keep you I made up my mind that as far as loving Jesus representing him and serving his purposes are concerned I will continue to expand and enlarge until I sustain the capacity that will help the nation see Jesus the global harvest is a mandate that we must not fail in discipling nations and helping them experience the love and the grace and the power of Jesus is a mandate that we must not fail I vowed and I made a covenant with God as a man of God that I will never come into any city and any meeting and watch the sick go back sick the oppressed go back oppressed and all I do is waste people's time and talk to them no 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 but making mere confessions like that and stopping at that will only end you in shame and reproach there is a responsibility dimension to enlargement don't just say God enlarge me he wants to but are you willing to pay the price the mother of James and John came and met Jesus and said can you grant that when you are done with Caesar and all these people grant that my son sit at your left and your right and here's what Jesus said the space is available but can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism apostle I want the anointing like Reinhard Bonke and Benny Hill that space is still vacant in the realm of the spirit but can you pay the price to expand to that level apostle I want to walk in the prophetic I want to become a leading voice that serves the purposes of God within Yola and the Northeast and this country can I tell you the truth it is true that there is an election of grace but every one of us has an opportunity to rise to become the best and the greatest as God desires the challenge is that many of us are not willing to pay the price someone by this teaching tonight you need to get back to that price if you when others are sleeping you carry your Bible go to a bookstore minimize social media distractions go in there to sit down and waste time gisting and sit down I'm on my way going somewhere listen to me my dear people some of you need to sit down and get materials all those three four five phones you have you don't need them throw away all those things and have one or at least two is enough sit down when other people are roaming around and loitering around as though they do not know where they are going sit down and burn the candles don't pity yourself you will pamper yourself to failure and mediocrity there is nobody preparing for the Olympic who wants to prepare at the point of comfort the Bible says that he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully can I tell you this till today 
you go back to my laptop you go back to my phones there are videos i'm watching there are books i'm reading even though i came to this city i came for a conference like this and God has honored me to be the speaker as I return back now. Don't think I'm going to be sitting and crossing my leg and browsing. I also have spiritual projects that I'm on now. As far Because compared to where God is taking me, I'm just one step out of the cave. I've not started at all. Destroy arrival mentality. I've arrived based on what standard? Those you call men of God today in Bible days, they were ushers. Make up your mind until your presence can drive every devil out of Yola without bragging and without boasting. Make up your mind as a man of God that if you ever stand and pronounce to someone and say, God bless you from, from your altar, the fire that emanates from it, when it rests upon that person, he must return with testimonies. Listen, nobody will clap for you twice for the same realm and the same level. If people clap for you once, that's okay for that realm. If you remain at that level, nobody will ever celebrate the investment of God's grace upon your life. God has called you to be a prophet. And it is true that you have the prophetic, but your capacity is small. Out of 10 prophecies, only one is accurate. Discipline yourself and go back to the secret place. Don't move around, prophet anything. Please don't feel insulted. I didn't come to insult you. We are co-laborers, but I'm only challenging you. Some of you here are worship ministers. Don't go around celebrating mediocrity. Sit down and gauge yourself by a global reference. Thank God for the little invitations here, but Lord, let songs come from heaven. I obtain grace. Refuse to be a local champion. Refuse to compare yourself with people within your environment and say, at least I am better. No, you are not called to that life of competition. Your destiny is to the nations. Price number one, as we pray, the price of perception. What is our prayer tonight? Lord, I'm tired. I don't know what has programmed a life of mediocrity in me. I don't know what has let me think that as a mother and as a woman, I cannot be used by God. I do not know what has made me think that I will die without building my own house. There are many of us here, the only thing increasing in our life is our age. Nothing else is growing. Nothing else is increasing. The only thing growing in your life is your age. There's room for expansion. I was so honored when Bishop was graciously sharing with me earlier on about some projects that are ongoing. I was so touched and I said, can you imagine at this level there is still that grace. God has granted me by the privilege of his grace to interact and relate with the fathers of faith in this nation. And I say it with every sense of humility. There is none of them today as I speak that does not have a major destiny project ongoing first in their lives and across the ministry it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found in you it's in you lord it's in you lord we know there's more that's found in you. Prayer point number one. Father, let fire come from heaven and plant a dissatisfaction. Let it burn away the arrival mentality at this level. In the name of Jesus, I obtain fire from heaven. Go ahead and pray inside, outside. Fire from heaven. I refuse to be satisfied with this current level. Someone is praying, a man of God is praying, a businessman is praying. Shake a pacata baracatosa branda gata balacata, shkata brata catele caparus yata, embra cateca paracatos cata branda gadecata. Are you praying? Lord, I can't remain at this level, not at this level of signs and wonders. 
not at this level of the apostolic and the prophetic not at this level of the miraculous not at this level of fasting and prayer there has to be greater fire upon my prayer life enlarge me oh god Yola, you prayed. You're a man of God. Pray. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I will never be at this level. I never, I will never remain at this level. politicians pray not at this level mama pray lord you can take me to higher grounds higher levels of fire higher levels of grace higher levels of power higher levels of territory land space there are churches it's time to move out of that small place by the spirit Don't be tired we are praying. Ali paratos kada branta ke parusha dia. Ekra ke te beka te pa koto prontos koto prerengeta. Shala ke te branta ke te katos kata branta ke te bela kata proskene. Embra ke te sala kata branta kata varia kata. hallelujah 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 listen to me the next prayer point you're going to pray that every negative thinking that came from my background or came from my past listen when i talk about enlightenment and a superior orientation i'm not talking about outsourcing a context that is out of scripture there's many things people call enlightenment that is, is is just nonsense let this mind be in you philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 which was also in christ jesus jesus did not just excel just because he was the son of god at age 12 when his colleagues were running up and down he was in the temple so when satan came he didn't say i grew up knowing he said it is written you can tell life situation i grew up knowing or you can say it is written are you ready to pray father every mindset just because you've held error for many years does not mean that you are right listen there are some of us the reason why increases do not come is because there are ideas and perceptions we have received and we have held on to and we have refused to let it go that keep us poor that keep us mediocre lift your voice and pray father in this conference i expand my mind i declare my disloyalty to any thinking and any pattern that is not consistent with the character of the christ someone is praying Someone is praying. Hela barata sada branda kete balaka tuja. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Last prayer point and we're done for tonight. 
please listen to me please listen to me you are going to pray it says satisfy me early with your mercy there is the spirit of lateness in africa if a young boy of 22 or 24 builds a house buys a car trains his siblings and finances the gospel they will say he went to do blood money but when you build a house at 50 or 60 they say aha it's normal there is a spirit that fights speed in the lives of people that when it's time listen can i tell you this the unit of god does not rush people i know but there is speed in the kingdom the unit of destiny is time and dominion over time is real dominion there are many of us right now as it is almost nothing is moving in your life your family is still there out of a family of 15 people only one person has been able to lift up his head a bit no you're going to pray lord bring speed of enlargement to my destiny go ahead and pray speed speed of enlargement For the sake of your kingdom, for the sake of your glory. Speed. Bring speed to my enlargement. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please pay attention. Tomorrow, now listen, please. Please listen. Please listen. I do not want you, I'm lending my voice with Bishop, and I want you to make whatever sacrifice you can make. We have two more sessions together, I believe. Do not miss the session in the morning, and then by the grace of God, tomorrow night will be a miracle service we'll have the time to minister to the sick to prophesy and it will be a time of impartation I'll be sharing the remaining keys that it takes for enlargement and we'll be discussing the subject of faith to really understand the operation of faith and then we're going to be praying for the sick may I please request if the bishop will permit that tomorrow night if the bishop allows I want you to write a list of everything that has mocked God in your life. I want you to bring it here. There is fire that will fall from heaven over this city, in this place. And can I tell you, even if there is no space, if you will sit on the roof, sit on the roof, this conference. Make up your mind to connect with the flow of what God is doing. We're going to be praying. I'm going to be ministering to you. There are some of you who I know you have come to receive impartations you see what you see is an election of grace and when God sends a word to Jacob he intends for it to get to Israel the days of superstar Christianity is over God helps us so that we help ourselves hallelujah and then every devil of infirmity every medical report everything that has defied God in your life already some of you will return tomorrow with strange testimonies over what God has done to you tonight I speak over your life in the name of Jesus for every one of you under the sound of my voice I decree and declare by the spirit of grace supernatural encounters for you this night some of you will go to bed tonight and you will have angelic encounters where the blueprint of your destiny will be open unto you yeah. hear me some of you will go back home and the sleep you will not even find it god will ask you to open notebooks and you will start writing things for the sake of those god has sent to you when that prompting comes don't fight it some of you will spend tonight worshiping and praying in the spirit and making a fresh dedications that lord wherever you want to take me to and no matter how far you want to take me i am ready to go with you i bless you in the name of jesus christ and i pray for grace for you as you return in the morning 
I pray for grace for you as we have that miracle service in the night. Go from glory to glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Katekatos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take and let her. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.